Hello friends, in this video let us discuss the solution of people development and environment. Thank you for taking the subject wise mock test. Hello friends, this is Arun Kumar here. I welcome you to my channel Craving Gyan. If you are visiting first time to my channel, make sure you go to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get instant notification whenever I upload a new video. Keep taking the mock test regularly such that it will build a confidence within you. Here you have to click on start button. I have allotted a time of 25 minutes and the questions were 25 in number. So here you have to enter the valid email address. This will help me for giveaway contest. Here you have to type your full name. All questions are compulsory. Which protocol emphasizes on reduction of greenhouse gas? We know that Kyoto protocol is the one which emphasizes on reduction of greenhouse gas. So the corresponding option that is going to follow is option B is correct. First generation biofuel was prepared out of food crops. Second generation biofuel was prepared out of bagassing and third generation biofuel was prepared out of algae. Since there is a food scarcity, government of India didn't concentrate more on food crops especially for biofuel. Nothing but first generation biofuel was dropped down. So they have concentrated more on second generation as well as third generation biofuel. So the corresponding option that is going to follow is option A is correct. Next question. International Solar Alliance headquartered at India, Australia, USA, Brazil. So it is headquartered at India. So the countries which are falling under the Solar Alliance, it is also called as Surya Mitra countries. So this is very very important. Among all the renewable energy resources, from which energy resources government of India is going to plan for maximum power development or maximum power generation? solar energy, wind energy, hydro energy and thermal energy. So government of India is focusing more on solar energy. Montreal protocol emphasizes on, so this question is a bit tricky question. First option what I have given is depletion of ozone layer. Second one is protection of ozone layer, production of ozone layer or production of greenhouse gases, none of the above. So many students in my telegram group, they have told that depletion of ozone layer is also correct and protection of ozone layer is also correct. So if I am strictly going with the options, depletion of ozone layer I have to opt. Protection is nothing but further depleting you are going to avoid. Depletion means it should not get depleted. So strictly speaking, option 1 should have been followed. In the key answers, I have given option 1 as well as option 2 also. But strictly speaking, option 1 is correct. Which country walked out of Paris Agreement? USA, China, Russia, North Korea. USA is the one which walked out of Paris Agreement under the leadership of Donald Trump. So Donald Trump was the president. Next question. The term ecosystem was coined by A.G. Tansley, Ernest Haeckel, Aristotle, none of the above. We know that A.G. Tansley is the one who has coined the term ecosystem. So the corresponding option that is going to follow is option A is correct. Moving on to the next question, what they are given is, choose the odd one among pollution types. So we know that, so we have learned with respect to air pollution, water pollution, sound pollution, noise pollution, also you are having e-waste, light pollution is also a type of pollution. So here all are the types of pollutions, so none of the option is going to follow. Anything which affects our human health will fall under pollution. Nothing but whichever it is distracting our activities, you can call that one as a pollution. Assertion and reasoning. Assertion what they have told is stratosphere ozone is dangerous for human health because it is going to cause some skin diseases. We know that troposphere ozone is the one which is going to affect the human health. But if I am talking about the stratosphere ozone which is going to protect UV rays from sunlight. Nothing but a thin layer is encircled our earth surface so it is going to avoid it is going to protect us from harmful uv rays so assertion is wrong what the reason they are telling is aeroplane flies in stratosphere rather than troposphere this statement is a true statement nothing but assertion is false reason is true option d is going to follow next question choose the odd one out with respect to causes of noise pollution imbalance in digestive system yes next option is insomnia sila nothing but sleeplessness even this is also a symptom or a drawback increase in blood pressure yes so the corresponding option is all of the above nothing but option d is correct 
World Environment Day is celebrated on 5th of June and 8th day is celebrated every year on December 1st. So, the corresponding option that is going to follow is option A is correct. Which country consumes maximum carbon dioxide? China is the one which is going to consume maximum carbon dioxide. Which country is going to consume large amount of gases? You should know. So, this is very very important. Which species is called as umbrella species? We know that tigers are the one which is called as umbrella species because the health of the tiger determines the wealth of the forest. Say suppose if I am considering a kingdom, how good is the kingdom? It determines or it will have a direct impact on the king. So, if the king is good, indirectly you can tell kingdom is also a good one or a wealthy one. If tigers are more in number, then the forest is rich in animals. The state which is not having national park is Punjab. Punjab is the state which is not having any national park. They can ask you which park is situated in which state. Example is Salimali National Park is in Jammu and Kashmir. So these kind of things you should know. What you can find in red data book, endangered species, critical endangered species, land areas which are rich in red soil, extinct species. So endangered species means which is 70% extinct. If I am talking about critically endangered species means it is 90% extinct. Extinct species means it is from 0% to 5% extinct. Nothing but hardly you can find in particular areas only. So a red data book is a one which is going to collect information or which is going to document the information on endangered species. It is going to talk about plants and animals also. So the corresponding option that is going to follow is option A is correct. Moving on to the next question, indoor air pollution is very much hazardous when compared to outdoor air pollution. This statement is a true case because in the case of indoor air pollution, environment boundary is very much fixed and you will not be getting proper ventilation. So in olden days, the women who were cooking, so they used to get affected by respiratory diseases. So indoor air pollution is very much hazardous when compared to outdoor air pollution. This statement is a true statement. But what is the reason they are specifying? The project implemented for multi-purpose cooking stove is Nirtur. So government of India has come up with a plan to reduce this indoor air pollution. So they have come up with an idea of multi-purpose cooking stove, nothing but a gas stove and that scheme is called as Nirtur. Here assertion is also correct and reason is also correct but reason is not giving the proper explanation for assertion. So I need to go for option B. See in the reason what they are telling is to minimize indoor air pollution we are going for a community cooking stove. But what the assertion they are telling indoor air pollution is very much hazardous when compared to outdoor air pollution. In the case of assertion they are relating indoor air pollution with outdoor air pollution. But in the case of reason what they are telling is how indoor air pollution can be reduced. So the corresponding option that is going to follow is option B is correct. Next question which type of pollution causes more negative impact on human life. Again this is a conflict based question that is water pollution. Water pollution is the one which will be having more negative impact on human life when compared to even air pollution also. So the corresponding option that is going to follow is option A is correct. Moving on to the next question what they have given is clean water indicator species are corals, bacteria, fish, fungi. We know that clean water indicator species are corals or fresh water indicator species. So you should know about gharials also. So these kind of topics are very very important. You should be very much aware of these topics. And if you are preparing for engineering service examination, you can find some good questions based on this energy and environment. But if I am talking about UGC NET, people development and environment. So the development based questions are very very important. Next question, assertion what they are telling is there are six major greenhouse gas. Yes. Almost like majority of the things we are going to consider only six in number but what the reason they are telling is greenhouse gases always have a negative impact on plants. This statement is false. Now look at over here this is the earth surface and it is encircled with atmosphere. It is encircled with atmosphere. You are having troposphere as well as stratosphere also. So when the sun rays 
gets into or penetrates into the atmosphere so upon reaching the earth surface it will get rebounds back but the greenhouse gases present over here what it will do is it will try to trap this sun's energy over here only it will not let out of this gas outside of the atmosphere so at that time there will be a increase in temperature since there is increase in temperature sufficient time or sufficient gap will be there for photosynthesis process or there will be an increase in time for photosynthesis process and this will be a good one but if i am talking about a negative impact so it will be having a direct negative impact on human life assertion is correct and reason is false so i need to go for option c moving on to the next question what they have given is people pollution control measures do not necessarily help in checking environmental degradation this statement is a true statement but what is the reason they are telling is you can't get a direct relation between a population growth as well as environmental degradation nothing but it is a very much complex problem they are telling yes it is a very much complex problem nowadays deforestation is taking place so people are not very much aware or they are not very much conscious with respect to environment assertion is also correct reason is also correct reason is giving proper explanation for assertion so i need to go for option one next question at present in terms of per capita energy consumption the unit is kilowatt hour per year identify the correct sequence nothing but which country is having more per capita energy consumption it is russia followed by china followed by brazil followed by india so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option c is correct next question identify the air pollutant in urban areas which irritates eyes and also respiratory tract of human beings it is not particular matter so more than particular matter surface ozone is the one which is having a negative impact on human life so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option c is correct next question which of the following is the largest source of water pollution in major rivers of india this question they have asked a number of times in engineering service examination as well as in administrative service so it is untreated sewage so the corresponding option that is going to follow is option a is correct next question india's government target for power production from small hydro project by the year 2022 is 1 gigawatt 5 gigawatt 10 gigawatt 15 gigawatt it is 5 gigawatt nothing but option b is correct how much power they are planning from small hydro project large hydro project solar energy wind energy thermal energy all the things you should know which of the following pollutant gases is not produced both naturally as a result of industrial activity it is chlorofluorocarbons so nitrous oxide methane carbon dioxide can't be so upon taking the quiz session you have to give the feedback how do you rate the quality of mock test so if you think it is moderate you can opt for moderate and if any suggestions are there you can please provide your valuable suggestions so suggestions are always welcome so i would like to congratulate veena esmus for topping in the mock test so she has scored 42 out of 50 and number of participants were 100 in number first of all thank you for taking the mock test if you like the solution video please give it a big thumbs up also share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel creaming gyan all the best for exams thank you